and welcome back everyone. I am so delighted today to have with us Miss Julie Solomon, um, who is creator and owner of the Influencer Podcast. She has been named as one of the top 100 most influential people in influencer mm -hmm. marketing. And Julie is the leader for our next generation of influencers. Welcome, Julie. It's so good to have you here today. It's so good to be here with you always. Thank you so much for having me. No, it's an absolute pleasure. And, and uh, for everyone watching, we are super lucky to have Julie today because she's so busy in her um, endeavors and what she's creating in the world and helping women to create that her carving out time to share with us what she's doing and how she benefited from some of the work that we did together is just awesome. So thank you. Yeah, um, so Julie and I started working together a couple of years ago just to help Julie define her purpose and her goals and um, Julie why don't you just share with us just let our viewers know um, a little bit about yourself and your business and what you're doing now. Yeah so as you mentioned when I came to you um, I was really kind of stuck and you really helped me clear out a lot of that clutter um, through the Redefine Yourself program and really get me um, centered into what you call is my unique brilliance and not only first figuring out what that is, but most importantly, how do I share that with the world? Mm -hmm. So we discovered that my unique brilliance is to really awaken that magic within people that inspires the courage and the determination for them to be able to create, become, and share in a mm -hmm. connected way. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's really about connection at the core and how can I use my, my uh, brilliance to connect women um, specifically because I love to serve women in that, in that matter. And so once I was really able to have the vision, mm -hmm. I was able to step into that. Um, I am someone who is very resourceful and I have a lot of endurance. And if I have a, a plan of action and really kind of can, can, feel in my bones where I need to go, then I can get there. And that's what Redefine Yourself allowed me to do. And so it really, it was, I don't even think it was two years ago at this point. I mean, it's been a really kind of quick turnaround. It, it feels fast. I mean, I have to say though, I'll, just, I'll tell the viewers this. I mean, Julie works really fast. She's totally committed. And once she opens the door to discover what her purpose is and what she wanted to do and create with these other women in the world. She was just on fire. So I think it's been under two years, but it seems like maybe three because you created so much. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It seems like it was forever ago, but then yet it seems like it, it wasn't at all because um, I've, I've just, I've just gone with it and I've taken everything that I've learned from there. And so since all of that yeah. standpoint, I have created um, I created an online course that then has, to date, has gone on to sell, I think, over half a million in sales. Amazing. Yes, which is incredible. So, uh, multi, multi six figure online program. Um, okay. Fantastic. Prior to doing Redefine Yourself, I created a podcast that has been downloaded over 2 million times and is heard in over 165 countries. Uh, it is one of the top rated business podcasts on iTunes and has been since the week that we launched um, 18 months ago and um, I am about to launch a my signature program called the Influencer Academy um, and we are hoping to see you know just the, the, the good and the success and the abundance flourish with that as well. So. This is just phenomenal you see you're just like this complete vessel of creativity you're amazing and I think look, to me what's just so exciting we're going to tell everybody in a minute how they can reach you and what you're actually doing to help them um, is that you're you're allowing women to build confidence within, this, within themselves and showing them how to do this and create an offering that's also making a difference to other women. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. I mean, it is my yeah. goal to kind of going back to that unique brilliance. It, it is my goal to, you know, really help women find how they can create and perform and share their brilliance and their wisdom and their nuggets of, of uniqueness. Yeah. So it's fantastic. And now how would they do that? So like if, you know, as a woman coming to you that wants to maybe create a blog, is that how this works? You introduce them how to do this and the steps to take. Is that right? Yeah. So, you know, if it's someone who, um, I, I think initially it was blogging because that really was kind of like the barrier of entry for this influencer space. But I think mm -hmm. now it has kind of expanded more into anyone who wants to use you know, the internet and specifically social media as kind of a, a 
front door, if you will, to their ideal audience that they're wanting to bring in and to serve. So it could be YouTubers, podcasters, aspiring authors, um, a lot of bloggers, predominantly bloggers, um, but um, you know, Etsy shop owners, photographers who have a website, anyone who really wants to use their online influence as a source of, of good. Um, it's who I serve. Okay, so that's fantastic. So I have a lot of clients coming through who would just love to hear about that because part of the work we do is about creating social media content and then where, which platforms to use for that, how to do that. And I've been sharing with them your work. And with the Academy coming up, what is the, the Academy going to be doing? Yeah, so the Academy is a step-by-step -step online roadmap, essentially. It is an, an, a module program that teaches influencers and bloggers how to grow a worthwhile, profitable business mm -hmm. as an influencer. One of the things that I started to see, specifically with bloggers and influencers, is that they would do this influencer thing, but mm -hmm. they really hadn't taken the time to map out why they were doing it. Yes. I hadn't really been able to answer a simple question like, why am I picking up my phone every day to post on Facebook or to post on Instagram? Mm -hmm. uh, typically what they thought it was for, it was probably not really what it was for. So that was one piece that I really started to notice a disconnect. And I was like, I think I need to kind of help them navigate this a little bit because I think a lot of people, um, and I've been this way before throughout my journey, they kind of want to go to the actual steps and the strategy before laying the foundation. They kind of want to put that, put the furniture in the house before the walls are up, so to speak. Ah, uh, yes, yes. As, so, as many of us do and have done. Yes, yes. yes. So, you know, I, I really, you know, if, if my mission is to make sure that people are, are building and growing a, a worthwhile, profitable influ influence, then the worthwhile is just as important <laughs> as the profits. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of the same, you can't have one without the other. So the, worth, the worthwhile piece is really that purpose piece. Okay. I mean, this, why does this matter? And then from that, the passions, the strategy, the actionable steps and tips can come. Another thing that I started noticing was that a lot of women in my space, you know, um, whether they were just starting out or whether they had been at this for a while, none of them were really cultivating a strong email and newsletter community. They were really focused right. on growing and cultivating a tribe on social media, but uh -huh. they weren't really remembering that that's kind of rented space. Yes. And really yes. you do need to be focusing on cultivating that community that's going to be really warm to you and warm to your content. And what I always love to say, they're, they're going to drink the Kool-Aid no matter what kind of Kool-Aid it is that you're, you're yes. backing up for them because the no like, and trust is there. Yes. And so there's a lot of limiting beliefs and, and education pieces that have to kind of come into that. A lot of times people are afraid to take up space you know, in the world and specifically online space because they don't, they don't want to email people because they don't want to feel like they're bothering someone or they mm -hmm. don't want to be spammy with their content. But what I really want to show them is that it's never spammy if it's coming from a worthwhile place and it's Absolutely. never bothersome if it's, if it's value that you're bringing. And mm -hmm. you also have to remember these people consciously and willingly signed up for your newsletter. They are there for a reason. They are there yep. because they want to be served by you. That's right. They opted in. Exactly. Yeah. So really um, owning that and, and remembering by not showing up in, in that space, you're kind of only stealing from those who need you the most. Mm -hmm. So um, giving them the courage and I think really the permission to, to take up space in the newsletter world. Um, emails are not dead. It was so funny. I had one a person email me one time and tell me that emails were dead. And no. they were emailing me and telling me that, which was so <laughs> funny. Right. Um, hey, yeah, next I know it's, it's cracked me up, but, um, that's a big piece that, um, that I really love about the influencer Academy. Um, there's okay. some modules, but, but purpose is one. The email list is, a, is another big one. And then module six, which I really love. And it's kind of how we wrap it all up in a, in a bow is, um, products and services. Another big thing that I noticed in this blogger and influencer space is that, um, the bloggers and influencers didn't know that they could actually create a product or service that was their own. Mm. They thought that they had to constantly promote or sell the product and service of a company or someone else. Yes, so, I, um, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this this is great information. And I think everyone can see how full this is and complete in what you're bringing. And what I'm excited about, because I'm a big one on, you've got to know your purpose before you can step into anything. I mean, I've, I've always come from there. You've got to know your brilliance. You've got to know your purpose. You've got to be excited about it. And yes, like you said, 
you want to put the furniture in and decorate first, but you've got to build the house and you've got to build the um, infrastructure. And with the email list, um, I've been sharing with everybody recently, that's your community, it's your family, it's your tribe. And you, as you said, you know, people want to have information from you. They want to know what you're doing. And if you don't give it to them, you're actually holding back. And it's almost a little selfish by not giving it to them in a way that's not overwhelming, obviously, but um, no, I agree. So welcome back to the email list. Yay. So, um, so you're launching and uh, we're going to look very excitedly out for that. And um, I'm going to put your website and details within this newsletter that people can look at that and where to find you. Um, and of course your podcast. So, um, I mean, every week you're giving out this amazing content free of charge, everyone. I mean, she just gives out so much. It's amazing. But I think as you'll see with Julie giving out this information, it's just very, it's creating a beautiful connection with everybody. And, um, yes, it drives sales, I'm sure. Um, and from what you've said, I, Obviously, it has been doing very well. Um, but the content that she has, I know I have a lot of clients now listening to your podcast, the Influencer Podcast, and it's well worth your time every week investing um, your time to listen to it because you will learn something amazing. So um, thank you so much. Um, is, there, is there any kind of takeaway that you want to leave our viewers with today? Anything you want to share before we close? Yeah, I mean, I would just say for anyone who's ever on the fence about investing in themselves, and it's not just about money, um, you investing in yourself is time and it's energy and, you know, it's your soul really being committed to your dreams and to your goals. For anyone who ever gets nervous or scared about really taking the plunge to invest in themselves, it's really important to remember that if, if you're not going to believe in yourself enough to step into what you teach, which is your, your unique brilliance, Nicola, then no one else is going to do it for you. Exactly. You know, there's, there's no fairy that's going to come down at whether, you know, Nicola, I like to say that she is like, you know, a fairy godmother because she has manifested and helped me manifest so many things in my life, but um, you have to show up and you have to do the work. There's no amount of wisdom and strategy or guru love that anyone can give you if you're not ready and willing to really do the work. So just a great reminder to those that, um, you know, don't be afraid to invest in yourself if you know in your heart that you're ready to be committed and to do the work. Exactly. And it's that commitment. Just as you just as you have been and you are and you continue to do so, you're a great testament to that. And, um, you know, when you love doing what you do, it's so much easier to be committed to it. So thank you so much. Just thank you so much for your time today. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon and can't wait for the Academy to be launched and uh, can't wait to have you on again soon so you can share how that's going. And um, hopefully our viewers are going to visit you and find out how they can benefit too. So I'm excited to see. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you soon, I hope. Take care. Bye.